and travel across London to take on Chelsea. They beat them at the Valley in December and victory tomorrow would be a giant leap in their ambitions for fourth spot. So what they need is a bit of consistency. Meet Matt Holland. It's nice to be playing each week and giving your best and everything you've got for the side. Matt Holland is the model modern footballer. In fact, he's a manager's dream. Never injured, always consistent and very loyal. Which brings us nicely to Charlton versus Chelsea. It's going to be an interesting one. Certainly, you know, the result on Boxing Day will add a, an extra spice to it, I think. Um, they'll be looking for revenge and, and looking to turn that result around. I think if we play anywhere like we did that day, then we're going to have a chance. Everyone keeps saying Liverpool or Newcastle and, and they seem to have a divine right to that fourth spot. Uh, that's not necessarily the case, you know, we beat Liverpool, we beat Chelsea, we've uh, drawn with Arsenal and we drew with Newcastle when perhaps we should have won, so certainly that can give you the belief that you can do well against the top sides. Comes out to Barr and Campo and Nolan and it's in! We had a disappointing result against Bolton last weekend which, um, you know, set us back a little bit. But certainly that's the aim, um, trying to finish up as high in the table as we possibly can. Sunday, I guess, also inevitably will be a chance for everybody to rediscuss the issue of Scott Parker, who's now gone to Chelsea, even though he's not involved on Sunday. In a way, it makes it a strange one. Yeah, well, obviously, it's, it's a massive one now for the fans in particular, I think. Obviously, everyone at the club was disappointed when Scott went. You know, in an ideal world, Scott would still be here. You know, over the last two or three seasons, he's been one of the most consistent performers, not just here, but in the Premier League. So it's disappointing to see him go, but, you know, he. He wanted to move on, it's, it's a big challenge for him, he's going to be playing the Champions League. You know, and everyone at the club wishes him all the best. I can understand it from the fans' point of view, obviously you know, Scott signed a new contract in the summer and, and everyone would have liked him to have stayed and, and, and obviously helped us push for that fourth spot. Um, from his point of view, I can, I can totally understand him wanting to move, you know, he's, he's going to a club that are challenging for the title, the challenging in, in the FA Cup, you know, the challenging in the Champions League, so they're going for trophies and, and so I can understand it from his point of view as well. Holland is big in South East London these days, but he was big in East Anglia before that. So big, they named a horse after him. When I was at Ipswich, there was a young girl who wrote to the club and, and uh, a mother's uh, a trainer up at Newmarket and asked if one of the horses they had, you know, if they could name it after myself. So they did that and uh, they told me the first race it ran and it's, it ran at, and it won at 25 to 1, I think. I only had a fiver on it, but oh. uh, I know. But it was you're a horse was, named after you. Put a I know. On. I know. I'm not a big gambler anyway. No. Um, but yeah, so it's been injured actually for the last couple of years. So you know, it's, it's not no similarities there. Hopefully. Well, no. I was going to say that's a bit weird if it's been yeah. injury prone. Oh, no, being named has. after you. Yeah. It has. They picked the wrong. Well, either they picked the wrong player or, or you picked the wrong well, horse. There we go. But it has won anyway. Just generally in terms of ambitions left to. to fulfilling in football? Well, I mean, obviously, it'd be nice now to, to lead Charlton into um, the European places this season now and said, you know, let's finish in the top half of the table. And I think that's certainly achievable. We've given ourselves a good platform and, and obviously there's still a long way to go. We've lost Scott and that, that will be an issue because, you, you know, you can't just replace someone as good as him overnight. Um, but certainly, you know, we've got a chance of finishing in the European spots. But you figure that perhaps tomorrow could be a big test for them, Ali, because they've lost, obviously, Scott, and that'll have to get put to one side. Yeah. You know, they've, they had a difficult game against Bolton, losing at home. That was Is a it bad... make or break? I don't know if it's make or break, but that was a bad one last week, losing to Bolton. Mm. But it's not so long ago, Channel had probably the best record out of London clubs against each other in derbies. Uh, and, of course, they beat Chelsea recently, so they've got nothing to be scared of. It's going to be interesting to see how they handle a loss of Scotty Parker. I mean, Scotty Parker was fantastic for Charlton, as Charlton was for Scott Parker. But Tim, they've got a great side. I mean, if they do, and it's a, it is now a possi distinct possibility, hang on to that Champions League place. It'd be one of the biggest achievements. I think it's Champions a League. really big spell for Charlton coming up, Gabby. Now they got this game against Chelsea, Tottenham, Blackburn, Arsenal. You know, London derbies are always always tough. They normally do quite well in those games. Strong away from home, but I think if they really want to stay, hang on in there in these in the fourth. Champions League spot, then they're going to have to have a big month coming Let's up. Let's have a look at the top eight because Matt Holland alluded to it there. You know, it's not a divine right that it should be Liverpool or Newcastle's that fourth spot. But I know you two and all our pundits, to be fair, have said all season, well, they've been going well, Charlton, they won't be there at the end. Do you still hold on to those thoughts or? 
I, yeah, I, I, I just think that they'll come up a wee bit short. I can well, you know, I think they're more than capable of finishing in the UEFA Cup spot, but I think that that full Champions League spot, you know, when, the, but when it comes got to the crunch. They've consistent, haven't they? They but, have, yeah. I mean, you're asking a lot of questions about Newcastle and, uh, and Liverpool, certainly if Charlton were to go and win at Chelsea. But um, I just for me, I just think that it will be a little bit too much for them to finish fourth. And I know you want to speak there, Andy. Well, the first, in, <laughs> first in a couple of seasons, I agree with Andy. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth getting out. OK, still to come. Lincoln's Keith Alexander on his...